nothing lasts forever It will blow away someday Just like the candle in the wind Thank you. 
That's a wise decision. But I will want to find out who is responsible, who has given himself the duty of impregnating my girls. I really want to find out. Let me call this girl so that you can find out from her before I kill somebody in this house. Sleep over this. I don't know why these small girls will not keep themselves in one place. Now she's pregnant. Can you imagine that? Well, that's her cup of tea. Don't need to lose sleep over that. Look, you know what? I'll ask the driver to take her to the hospital tomorrow. And if she tests positive, alright? She just pack her filthy bags and baggages and get out of my house before she corrupts my children. Is that clear? That's a good idea. But I still want to know who has given himself the duty of impregnating my house girls. Come on, is, is that important? Yes, so I want to know before they start trying it on my children. Huh? Can you imagine that? I will kill whoever tries that. I, 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 I will kill whoever tries that with my children. I'm tired, though. Maria, the last housemaid that was with us, got pregnant. We sent her packing. Everyone blamed me for bringing Maria, a very little fine girl, to the house. Then Mama brought Emma for us and again she gets pregnant. What do I do? How do I solve this puzzle? Anyway, Mama is coming today. Before Buma, she's listening to her work plan while doing her homework. Is that true? Yes, Mama. Buma! 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 Very bad, call Buma for me. Uh -uh. I will throw away that work plan if she doesn't take care. You know how I go out of the takeaway. That seems to be no way. The work way. Wait, I'm not safe. It will make a way. 
Is that true, Mama? Grandma! Oh, how are you? professional help. But how do I help him? If I suggest that he seeks medical help, will he agree to see a doctor? Oh God, how do I even start? I'm sure you're furnished. Do I serve you a You can say that again. That's the best thing I've heard all day. Oh, what about Mama? Have you eaten? No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm Are you sure? She has taken care of me. I hope you fed my mouth. Too much. Let me say it. Okay? Tony, see how happy you are with your wife. Yet you cheat behind her. And even under her nose. With her housemates. Why is the devil so wicked? And people allow him to come in and ruin their happiness. Why? Why? Love makes the world go round and round. Ooh, when people are in love, it's a beautiful thing. Please don't throw. The things that one pay oh, it will go away Hello? Hello, lady. How you doing? Oh, 
Richard, I'm fine, thank you. Sorry I couldn't attend your party. My mother is in town and I'm very busy with her. How was it anyway? Well, fine. Um, actually, it was my birthday. Yeah, everything was fine. I only missed you so much. Your absence actually spoiled my day. But you know I couldn't have attended alone. Why not? You could have gone with him. That would have been a problem. I only needed your presence. Okay, now that I know where I could come with my husband, next time we'll both come together. I'm cooking. Mm. What are you cooking? Well, I made vegetable soup for dinner. Wow, you wet my appetite, baby. Wish I could have lunch with you someday. Mm. So, when can we get together? Mm. Richard, I just told you that my mother is in town and I'm busy with her. Yeah, excuses, excuses, excuses all the time. Well, why don't you just make things a little bit easy for me? Make life easy for me. Spend some time with me so that we can sit down and talk. I mean, hear me out first. <sighs> okay, Richard. I will call you and we can find time together, okay? You promise? I promise. Alright. I can't wait to hear you call. You know I love you, baby. Okay, bye, Richard. See you some other time. Bye. If you know something, I... Somebody I know, it's not what you think. It's not what you think, Mom. Please, my dear, listen to the voice of reasoning. And whatever Tommy does, you don't have to pay him back in the same coin. Huh? Just continue to pray for him. Pray for him. One day, God will touch his heart. Okay, Mom. Thank you very much, Mom. Thank you. Mom, I just finished cooking. Let's go next time. I just finished cooking. Love makes the world go round and round. Mm, when people run in love, beautiful thing. Please don't throw. of things that one pay Mom is calling you. Do you want to pull up my work, man? I suppose you will do your own work. Do your business. Why don't you mind your business? Mommy has told you several times not to listen to music with your work, man. I'll do your own work. Start a phone. You have gone to report to Mommy. Jealousy. You're only jealous because you don't have a work, man. I'm not jealous. Mommy has promised to buy me a work, man, on my birthday. Start a phone. You are about to report to mommy again. Ah, really? There you are. Mama, I've been looking for you. Mm -hmm. Mama. Standing there by yourself. Mama. I'm really worried about all that is happening in this house. This has become a recurring decimal. Each time that I bring a house girl into this house, she gets pregnant. And she refuses to say who is responsible. Mama, I am tired. Don't even bother yourself about who is responsible. Well, you, you didn't send her to go and get herself pregnant. 
Mama. I don't want to take the house back because of my little girl, Mama. Eh? Before you know what is happening, they will start tampering with Mama. It's out of the question. Completely. Oh. You see, but I saw him as a responsible girl. Eh? She used to be very obedient, always helping her mother in the farm. In the village, that was why I sent her to you. Yes, she is. But she has proved otherwise. I won't lie to you. She is very humble. But, as we can see it, she cannot hold what is under her pants. I don't understand. Eh? That girl has really disappointed me. She was very gullible and naive. Eh? Mama, your guess is as good as mine. The last girl that I brought got pregnant. They told me that this is because I brought a pretty little girl into the house. Maria got pregnant. Now, Emma, how do I solve this problem? How? Oh. Children of my days. Eh? City life has really changed for me. That girl has really changed me. My worry, Mama, is that I have growing kids in the house. I don't want them to lay bad examples for them. I understand. But well, don't worry. I'll speak with her. I'll try and find out uh, what got into her. Yeah? Oh, okay. Please find out. Huh? Because they all refuse to say who is responsible. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know. I'll it. Mama. You know I just finished cooking. Do I dish your food now? Let me get it ready. Me. Yes, Maria. Come and sit down. Now, tell me, who is responsible for your pregnancy? If I told mommy will kill me. No, 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 don't worry. I won't tell her. This is between you and me. Who is responsible? Mommy, don't be angry. You told me not to tell anybody. Well, Maria, I'm not anybody. Mm -hmm. Eh? Okay. I'll help you. Is it the gate, ma? No, ma. Is it the driver? No, ma. Is it any boy that lives uh, in the neighborhood? No, ma. I don't know who you know, Maria. Eh? I want to help you. Do you want the man responsible to, 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 to go scot free? Why everybody is blaming you? Mama, Mama, please help me. Please help me. Maria, I want to help you. But you have to tell me who is responsible. Eh? Are you tired of Lagos? Or is my daughter not treating you well? No, she has been nice to me. Then what is the problem? Eh? She sent you to school to better your lot. Now look at what you did to yourself. Do you want to go back home to the village to suffer? I told daddy not to do this. But you will put me in trouble. Dad. So nobody will know about it. See what is happening to me now. Dad. You mean Tom, my daughter's husband? Please don't tell mommy. Tom, my. You mean Tom has been sleeping with you? 
Don't tell him that I said so. He will kill me. Nothing that I have not tried to make her confess, but she has refused to say who got her pregnant. Look, Elo is a non issue, alright? Let's discuss something more important. If Elo refuses to tell us who the father of our child is, so be it. She will move out of my house and go and live with that man who is responsible for her child. Period. That was exactly the same case with Maria. Maria got pregnant, and I want to know that mischievous man that gets my girls pregnant before they start trying it on my daughters, Gulabi and Goma. <laughs> Stop there. Look, I will kill any man that tries that on my daughters. I will kill them, please. Ah, no, eh? That's a no go area. Mess around my girl. Anyway, Mama is coming. Mama will take that girl back home. Since she has come to town to disgrace her family, and she will not teach. My daughter's her bad behavior. Look, let's discuss something more important. How was your meeting with the landlord today? Lagos landlords are shyness. They are shyness. The landlord wants us to pay three years advance rent before he can give us that place. Three years? Yes. He wants to make the money he used in building up that shop in one day. So, darling, what do we do? Because the money for the rent will change the money for the goods to equip the shop. So, what do we do? Well, 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 that's uh, so. What did you guys settle for? He said three hundred thousand naira a year. That's about uh, one point something million plus agency and legal fees. That is only the money to rent the shop. Oh. I have not equipped the shop with goods though. Okay, that's no problem. That's alright. Uh, I'll make out a check for you in the morning before someone takes over the shop. Yeah. Hmm? Um, what do I do without you? It's okay. I'm really pretty. What do I do without you? Well, uh, I'd better have. That's the least I can do. It's a beautiful. And uh, you know, to complain. Mm, I'm gay, man. Mm. And I will be on top. Too. Ooh, I love staying at the bottom. I love the bottom area. Oh, this is the life. Look at them feeling like you are pregnant with them. After all the money spent on them. Ah, come to chastise you. You have succeeded in killing me. But you cannot kill me like you did to my friend. Oh, what do you want from me? I'm not trapped on some kind of wizard. What's this now? God will of those that are the last and the meeting. You are neither the God or the devil. God will not answer you, but the devil will answer that to the Jesus. Go back. 
back to your seats. Because anywhere you go, I'll follow you. What do you want from me now? Eh? I need love. Show me love. You have abandoned me and my vessel. Why? I did not ask to come to you. But you called me when you took my vessel to bed. Your vessel to bed? Why are you speaking in parables now? I don't understand what you mean. Use your tongue to count your teeth. Okay, Mama. 
uh, I promise uh, I'll get back home very early tomorrow. Um, let me remind you that it is not because of me. You have growing children that needs their father. You know, and your wife too. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much, Mama. One more thing. Maria was pregnant in this house last year. Yes. And uh, now, Emma is pregnant. In fact, the, uh, who is responsible for, for, for this? Who is responsible? Accusing fingers points to the man, the same person that's pregnant with Maria. Eh? If that other man must be very responsible, ah, who, who, who is a who is a person? Man? Don't man. use your tongue to count your teeth. To count my teeth. Yes. I, I don't understand what you're saying, ma'am. So, I know the truth. So, Maria eventually told you? Not exactly. I thoughtfully <gasps> got it out of her. She said you told her not to tell. Uh, she told me and you gave her money for her portion. Tell me, how many children do you want to impregnate before you stop? This is a big shame, you know. It's really not enough for you. Mama, I'm really sorry. I'm really very sorry. She's 18 years old. She's five years older. What if she was your daughter? What would you do? Huh? Ma, Why? Mama, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry about this. Honestly, I promise you to never repeat itself. It already has. It already has. Leave your house, guess. Leave them alone. Mama. Allow me to know how I'll take care of it. I promise. I'm a Christian too. And I object to abortion. Why did you put yourself in this position? Why? Hey, don't why? Mama, honestly, I'm, I'm sorry, ma. Please forgive me. It will never repeat itself, I promise you. Because uh, we need no. I don't intend to tell her this. It will break her heart. Oh, thank you. She loves you too much, too. Eh? Treat her with some decency. Please. Eh? All right, Mama. I'm like, thank you very much, Mama. <clears throat> thank you. I promise you I will change. Nothing like 
last forever It will blow away someday Just like the candle in the wind Candle in the wind Is it like a flower? When the evening comes, it will die away. You say you wanna play around, you think you have all the time. Just remember, nothing lasts forever, it will blow away someday. Just like the candle in the wind Candle in the wind Like a long light blow Candle in the wind It will blow, it will blow away Candle in the wind Like a long She wanted to commit suicide, but God was on her side. Suicide! Suicide. Hey, God. Search me. You see what these girls can put somebody through? Search me. I don't know this one. Hey. Suicide. But did she tell you who is responsible for her pregnancy? Tell me. When did she start telling me anything? Uh -huh. She didn't tell me. She only told Mama that uh, it was one boy that lives in Ajegule. Hmm. And that she doesn't know her way to his house. She's lying. And you believed her? Of course I didn't believe her. But what would I do? Glory, I'm tired. 
I am tired of bothering with issues that do not concern me. Abio. Abio? Eno is an adult. If she doesn't know who impregnated her, too bad. That is true. And you know these girls, especially the good ones, they are not easy to come by. Mm. And then no, it's really very hard working. Yes, yeah, so she is very hard working. That is why I retained her. Ah, you don't know. You can't just pick them up and down. One day you pick a witch and bring them back. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> I'll be I'll be big bad thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> Our guests are with. Let's go. <laughs> Stop pushing me towards uh, Richard. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married to Tony. <laughs> this is love. This is love. Yeah, I put him through. Uh, how now? Hey, yeah. What? But I, I, I sent my boys with the papers now, with all the necessary papers. Look, Mr. Amana, make sure you get that container out for me. Which one is the 100% examination again now? Eh? Look, you know, as from next week now, Monday, as from Monday now, I start to pay demorage. Look, do everything within your power to get that container out to me. Please. Okay. Alright. You know, my clients are waiting. Dalo, yeah. thank you. What is happening to me? Hmm? Business is not working out as before. Everything is dull. I'm beginning to see all sorts in my dream. That dream sounded like a warning of some sort. That dream sounded like a warning of abandoning him and his vessel. That must be Eno and her baby coming to disturb my sleep. Che, maybe that girl is a witch. Yes? What is it? Which girl? Look, Jana, I'm busy. I have to make a few calls. I don't want to see that girl. Why is this girl disturbing me now? I don't have any money. Look, tell her I don't want to see her or any other girl. Join us here. Just change. This is fun. Mm -hmm. 
I want to see you. Uh -huh. Yes. Privately? Urgency. Why did you just drag me out like that? Oh, there is no urgency. It's just that I don't feel comfortable talking in the presence of Philip. Or don't you think so? Well, you are entitled to your opinion. As far as I'm concerned, I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh, really? Well, anyway, um, I'm sorry I could not come to the shop. Philip came, so I couldn't just go out. How far have they gone with the renovation? Well, they are almost true. The painters are putting finishing touches. Okay. I waited for you. You didn't come. I called you on the phone. I couldn't get through. So I decided to come. It's true. My phone suddenly went dead. So I was charging it in the house. Okay, I thought as much. Yes. You know? Oh. It's even God that brought you. Mm. Richard called. He said he has been trying your line all day, but he couldn't get through. So he said I should tell you he will see you later in the evening. Gloria, I am not interested in that guy. I love my husband and I don't want to cheat on him. <laughs> Winnie. Little fun puts laughter on your face. Forget about husbands. Come on, have fun. Look, we don't even know what these guys do behind our back, you know. Whatever Tony does behind my back is his business, not mine. Wait a minute. Richard is a very handsome guy. And he has got some money to throw around. Why don't you give him the chance to spoil you a little? Huh? Spoil me a little. Yes! Gloria! Why, why do you want to start? Please don't start. You... Can't you see that that guy is a homebreaker? It's okay, it's okay. It's your life. Yes, and I decide the way I live it. All right. Ah, you tell me to go with a homebreaker. You want me to break my home? What kind of story is that? I, I don't want to. He's a homebreaker. Life. All right. Is for living. And you want to leave it. Leave it to the fool. But it all depends on how you live it Cause in life, nothing lasts forever It will blow away someday Just like the candle in the wind Ah, uh, Mama Uh, there's no problem. No, there's no. Uh, where is Winnie? She was very moody, so I asked her to go over to her friends and uh, let off some steam. So she's gone swimming. <sighs> Mama, I don't know how to say this, but I'm really very sorry about everything. Now. I'm really very sorry. Now. <laughs> Mama, I'm so sorry for the embarrassment and everything I caused you. Really sorry. Tom, leave your house girls alone. Leave them alone. Your daughter that was impregnant, and now what would you do? Eh? How would you feel? Leave them alone. Look at him now. Huh? But for God, thank God, what has happened has happened. Huh? I'm a Christian. 
and I won't be a party to any abortion. Leave them alone. Is it because I've been covering up for you? Uh, no, no, Mama. I will cover up for you again. No, it's not that, man. It's then what? Eh? I promise, I promise. She will never replace the soap. Tell some people I deserve several times. Uh, it will never happen again, I promise. Uh, Mama, have you had anything to eat? I've eaten. I see. Okay, would you like uh, a nice chilled bottle of wine? Are you trying to bribe me now? Uh, Mama. Oh, Mama. I love you so much. I'm sorry about everything. I miss it. It's a wonderful moment. Okay. I just want to go and change. Come and change. Your food is all on the table. Oh, thank you, Mama. Thank you very much. Love makes the world go round and round. It's a beautiful don't throw your love away Because of things <laughs> that one pays Oh, God, did you hear that? Oh, <laughs> it will grow in some Hello, Mom. <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop it. Oh, God. Come on. Yeah. Oh, Mom, really, you don't have to worry yourself. I'm okay. <laughs> what I'm doing. It's weekend, Mom. I'm just hanging out with a couple of friends, that's all. Yeah, sharing some jokes. Don't worry, I'll... Oh, yes. Yes, I have them. Richard is so loving and caring. But no. No, 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 Winnie. You can't date him. God, what is happening to me? Why would Tony cheat on me? I caught him and he thought he had lied convincingly. Since I married him, I have been faithful to him. But he pays me back with infidelity. office you told me to wait for you so that we can go for the children's PTA you are here in the office romancing we need come on take it easy all right I'll, I'll see you I'll see you in the office Tony come on. it's not what you think it is it's not so what do I think it is what I saw with my two eyes Look, that lady you just saw that ran out of this office it's my bag. She, she works in my bank. She was sent here by the bank manager to discuss a few things with A me. bank staff dressed the way she is? Oh, come on. Today is Friday. So they are usually casual in their outlook. Oh, today is Friday. So they are usually casual in their outlook and they come for romance. Tony, tell me a better lie. I saw you romancing here. Hey, Tony! Each time I catch him, he lies. Each time I think about it, I tell myself that it will be better someday. But the bitter truth is that I am lonely. God. Beauty is like a flower. When the evening comes, it will die away. You say you want to play around. You think you have all the time. Just remember, 
nothing lasts forever. It will blow away someday. Just like the candle in the wind. Candle in the wind. Light the lonely. Does it take pleasure in cheating on me? Why? Why? Weavy. Little fun puts laughter on your face. Forget about husbands. Come on, have fun. Huh? Look, we don't even know what those guys do behind our back, you know. If only Tony could be as romantic as Richard. Richard is so romantic and caring. God, what is happening to me? No, 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 this is not true. I can't be falling in love with Richard. No. Penny for your thoughts. <laughs> Sorry I took a little while, you know, that was my mother on the phone. She usually calls me during the weekend to find out how I'm doing, so when she's like that, you can Mothers will always be mothers. Oh yes, and mine is special. She's always concerned about me. She wanted to know what I'm doing. Well, I told her what I'm doing, hanging out with friends. I also told her how beautiful you are and she can't wait to meet you. Richard, don't you think this is going too far? Listen, my dear. You don't have to bother about how far or how fast it goes. The important thing is Love Since I met you, really no other woman has, has interested me. Okay? I love you. I, I want to show you how much I love you. You know? And I won't hurt you. Believe me. Treat you. Give you the best love you ever can imagine. Okay? Now, relax. Relax. Okay? Because I won't hurt you. Say me well to Stella and you. Papa. And tell Papa that I'll come and see you. Thank you for doing it. How is that little boy that lives around you? That little boy that follows me up. That's your small boyfriend. He's <laughs> fine. He's very fine. He's so good that you are. You know. Greet everybody. Greet everybody. Come. Ah, baby, happy to see you. Mama, how are you? Hello, sweetheart. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. Hello, Welcome, honey. How are you? Uh, yeah. How are you? Welcome. 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 So let us win and get back. No, 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 no. He doesn't need to come. I already have some forms here. Okay. So you just take the forms home to Papa. He will sign them and uh, he will just send them back to me by, by post. Ah, yeah. that would be nice. So Papa will be very happy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was what Papa was saying. I said, with you, everything will be fast. Uh, yeah. Mama, I've not even gotten the gratuity money. You're already showering me with praises. Mm -hmm. uh, praises. <laughs> My people used to say that when you thank a powerful man for removing obstacles, he will move mountains. <laughs> yeah, sure. um, uh, thank you. God bless you, my son. Uh, uh, you know, the problem of gratuity in Nigeria is such a peculiar task. You know, uh, all the bureaucratic processes you have to go through. 
it's so time wasting, things taking. So, but uh, we'll see what we can do about Baba. So, we'll speed it up as much as we can. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mama, have you shown your father your results? Yes, Mama, I did. Oh, you really? Mm -hmm. uh, I've already seen it. My daughter came first as always. <laughs> That's my girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I, no, I'm going to celebrate it in a special way. And that present I promised you. That's my girl. And I have my own special present for my own granddaughter too. My granddaughter is Miss Beauty and Prince. Uh, thumbs up to you, my darling. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Mommy has already given me a present. She gave me a lovely pearl drawing set. I'll show you all after. Oh, oh, oh. My son is already clean with envy. Just come, come here. <laughs> so, I, well, I didn't forget that work man I said I was going to get from you, but we still have to come first. Deal? Deal? That's my boy. <laughs> Mama will be leaving with the first flight tomorrow morning. Hey, my things are already packed. <laughs> Papa is missing me. Nobody talks to you. Uh, As me, I'm already missing you, sir. You won't be missing me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you. I'm so in love, and I'll do anything to make you my woman. You're the only one I ever adore. I'm down on my knees, begging you please, don't you go, stay with me. I'm down on my knees, begging you please, don't you go, stay with me. Heaven knows. Hello? Hi, please don't be embarrassed. My name is Richard Roberts. I was just sitting down there in my car and I saw you walking down so beautifully down the road and then looking around. I wondered, what is a beautiful girl like you doing all alone this day? What's your name? I am Stella George. So what are you doing around here? I'm actually, I'm looking around for a place where I can make a call. I can't recharge my phone. I don't know what is wrong. My dear, recharging phones have become a problem these days. <laughs> But thank God I have enough credits in my phone and I wouldn't mind if you use it. Thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. Hello? Yes, can I talk to the managing director, please? Yes? Oh, okay. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Mr. Richard. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, where are you off to now? Yeah, I'm off to the island. I see. Um, can I take your number? No problem. Okay. 080 yeah. 342 678 yeah. 96. Thank you. And your name again is <laughs> Stella George. Stella George. Yeah. No, you. Stella, I'll give you a call. Thank you. Take care. You're welcome. <laughs> Richard, I noticed you're not happy. Why? Because you left me, that's why. We were supposed to be married, remember? I'm sorry for leaving you. But I'm gone and never come back. No, Stella, please don't leave me again. Please don't go. Richard, listen to me. Leave Winnie alone. You cannot have her. She's a married woman. She has a younger sister. Go for her. She's a nice lady. 
No. It's you I want. It's you I want. Please don't leave me. Just you. Please don't go. Please don't go. Stay with me. Samuel, uh, sir, since we are around here, drive to my wife's house because I might not see her again before I go. Okay, sir. just to be with you so we can walk on the streets all hands and love without any one reason I was. oh yeah <laughs> see that's why I said I love you <laughs> I should add do you know you are romantic <laughs> you know what uh, yeah tell me you brought some shine into my life oh yeah yes you have virtually swept all the Lonely days of this home. Oh, <laughs> that <laughs> is beautiful to hear. I'll <laughs> soon You know what? I wish I could just make you mine forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm all yours, Philip. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Then you'll have me all to yourself. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to have you. Oh, 
Oh, Philip, okay, wait. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Look, I'm hot. No, 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 oh, no, 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 wait. Come on, get, get off. Get off. Stop it. No, 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 don't do that. No, no, stop it. Now, dear, yeah. come on. What are you doing? <laughs> Philip, come on! Philip, come on! Come on! Gloria! Am I dreaming or something? In my house? And you? for you and your children gave you the best comfort in life and yet you chose to stab me in the back why yes, you cost it you know you cost it yes you gave me all the comfort in life according to you then what about my peace and happiness or oh, you think that is not necessary too i don't need it after 15 years of marriage you went ahead and married two more wives after me so you expected me to sit down here and wait for you. Why didn't you ask for a divorce? Mm. Yes. Why didn't you, rather than doing this in my house? Gloria, you are a disgrace to womanhood. This is a taboo. Oh, you call what I have done a taboo? But what about yours? You have committed a sacrilege. And you know it. Look, for 15 years I was faithful to you. What did you pay me with? You went ahead and married a girl of your daughter's age as a third wife. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's not even sorry for her actions. Gloria, you have the heart to stand here and insult me in my house? I will kill you today. No, you can't kill me. You can't kill me. Mother, you killed the eighteen-year-old that you married as a third wife. You, you can. Ah. What? What? Ah. What? 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 Ah. Chief. What? Are you alright? This one is dead. Chief! Chief! Ah! Chief! Chief! Ah! Chief! No! 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 No!
You're the only one I ever adore I'm down on my knees Begging you please Don't you go Stay with me I'm down on my knees Begging you please Don't you go baby. Stay with me Heaven knows I'm going crazy for you Baby girl just right on the stand I wonder where this love will ever take me to I don't want to lose you girl Just try to understand I'm down on my knees Begging you please Don't you go Stay with me I'm down on my knees Begging you please Don't you go in here to pick up a couple of things myself. I must say you have a beautiful place here. Thank you. And your prices, they're quite reasonable. Thank you. Monica, yes. did anybody look for me? No, madam. Nobody called on the phone? No, madam. Okay. Richard, shall we go into my office? Yes, I'll join you. Let me finish with the young lady, so see you in the office. Okay. So you just package them, let me see your madam and then on my way out I'll pay you and collect them. Yeah. Okay, but now that madam is back, let me give her the note. Okay. So I also just said I should give this to you. Okay, thank you. Has it finished buying? Yes. Okay. Okay, go. What? 500,000 Naira. Wow. You transferred the sum of 500,000 Naira into my account? Richard, how did you get my account number? Oh, I have my sources. Actually, um, Gloria told me your bank and the rest was easy. I'm dumbfounded. I don't know what to say. But anyway, thank you very much. I'm really grateful to you. You're welcome. I've always wanted to be part of your success. You see, so this is just a token from me to you. And talking about success, I'll be popping in here every now and then to patronize your shop. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't want you to see me as a confused person. No, not at all. Good. Obviously, you've rejected me and my offer. So, what do you offer me as a compensation? Richard! You never cease to amaze me. What do you want me to offer you? You have a younger sister. Yes. She lives in Port Harcourt. Good. Offer her to me. Yeah. Offer her to me as soon as you give the clear sign for me to go ahead, I'll dash off to Port Harcourt, fish her out, and marry her right away. Just like that? Absolutely. Jesus. 
person with you, Richard, you never cease to amaze me. You don't even know her, and you have not sought her consent. My dear Winnie, you are pleasing to me. Therefore, anybody, anybody at all who is connected to you, must be pleasing to me as well. I'm very flattered. No, 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 I, I'm not flattering you. I'm just telling you the way it is. I'm willing to let go of you now to get another you. Okay. If that's the way you want it, I'll speak to Stella about you. Stella? Is that her name? Yes, Stella Brown. Stella. I must be very lucky then. I've always loved that name, Stella. Really? Yeah. By the way, that's her. Oh my God. She's so pretty. Yes, she was a uh, Miss Unipot. Wonderful. Oh, she's so cute. I've always had this feeling that there was something behind our meeting. I couldn't put my hand on it, but right now, the reason is very clear. Very clear. You have felt to me find my wife. I thank you for your patience with me. It's my pleasure. I'm also happy for being a part of the process to establishing this great purpose in your life. Stella. She's all yours for the asking. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do the underground work, okay? Stella, you just hang in there, baby. I'm coming for you right now. <laughs> oh my God. Honey. Yes? Where are you? I just got from the phone now. What's oh, for me? Ah, Chief Okonko just called me now on the phone to tell me that Chief Maduka is dead. What? Chief Maduka dead? How? Well, they said uh, you developed a cardiac arrest this afternoon. Was he sick before? No, they just said uh, they rushed him to the hospital this afternoon and he developed cardiac arrest. And he never made it. Yeah? Oh my God. Call to me. Let me call him. I don't think that is necessary, so it doesn't. Why? <sighs> well, uh, Gloria, your friend, has absconded. What? Well, they said the uh, chief caught uh, Gloria in bed with a small boy, so he developed a cardiac arrest and uh, died of heart attack. God, Gloria caught in bed with a small boy. <laughs> Jesus. I never knew that woman was so irresponsible. Look, I beg you in the name of God. Sweetheart, please. I want you to see there every relationship you have with that woman. Okay? She's a bad influence. I don't want anybody dragging my wife's knee in the mud. Is that clear? Tony, that's not fair. You don't take sides like that. You've not had my own side of the story. And you are crucifying her. Listen, honey. There's no justification. A married woman to be caught in bed with a small boy. No justification for that. Look. Carrying a big container for the man. I hope he has uh, he, he, uh, he wrote a will. Because he has a large family. I really did. Before the other women start battling with uh, Gloria, what oh, they did not so. Yeah, they want to be where they did not so. Gloria. Gloria. A widow. Is she Oh, that's it. She has lost her. Uh, she can have her cake and eat it. That's the way it is. I mean. Can't uh, eat your cake and have it, Chief. Chief, whatever was his reason for marrying an 18 year old as a telegraph? Look at him now, he's dead. She's with you at 18. Eh? God, look at it. How sad. You know, for me, I don't pray that I do such a thing to you. You know what? I will never do such a thing to you. Sweet, very good wife, very motherly, very kind, homely, a sister, everything a man can ever wish for. And please forgive me all my excesses. Right. And what are these your excesses? Well, whatever I might have done in the past to upset you. And you will never go back to these your excesses. 
so help me God. Okay, I forgive you, but please don't go back to them because you hurt me so much. Winnie, please pray for me so that I'll be able to stand by my decisions. Okay, I will pray for you, but you have to resist the urge to commit those your excesses as you call them. I'll try. I'll try. I'll really try. Okay. Okay. Welcome to you. It's for me. It will blow away someday. 